Hi, this is Lorraine with Vegetable Gardening with Lorraine. A couple days after our first frost of the season where I lost my vegetable garden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a hoop tent so that I can plant some spinach. We will still have probably a month of warm days when spinach can get growing. It's a fairly fast crop and we should be able to grow it for several, well, three or four weeks anyway, past hard freeze the way we're going to do this. So I've measured out my space. It's 42 inches wide by 10 feet long. I have two one by fours that should be 10 feet long. They're a little bit short, but I'm gonna use them anyway because they're what I have. And I'm gonna use 16 bricks, two sheets of UV resistant heavy mill plastic sheeting, which you, all of this you can get at Home Depot or any building supply place. Uh, the plastic should be cut to two sheets four feet wide by 15 feet long because you need to have enough at the ends to fold over so that you can snug up the ends of the tent. The other thing you're going to need is two pieces of concrete reinforcing wire which is what's used when they pour a concrete driveway to reinforce the concrete. It's a six inch by six inch square and I've cut these 13 squares this way and 10 squares this way. Now the 13 square side, I've cut the bottom, the bottom wire off, if you can see that. The reason I did that is so that I can stick the protruding ends of the wire down into the soil. So <clears throat> I've pre-dug the ground so that it's nice and prepared for gardening and I'm going to stick these in the ground just by stepping on them. Nothing could be easier. You have to use a good pair of uh, heavy weight bolt cutters to cut this wire. It's pretty heavy wire. show you on this other one what I've done on the ends. So on the ends where these pieces of wire protruding are sharp, it will tear the plastic that you put over there. So what I did is I took a piece of clear plastic tubing and I made a slice all the way around the edge of it, just one slice, so that I can stick it over the wire, it's cold out so it's kind of brittle right now, so that when I pull the plastic back and forth over that, it doesn't tear. And that sound in the background is the bells of St. Michael's. Which means it's 5 o'clock in the evening in beautiful downtown Denver. So the next thing I'm going to do is put the plastic sheeting on. But rain, you're thinking. That's not wide enough. It's cut that way for a purpose, which you'll see in a moment. Take the one by four and set it on about a four inch flange of that plastic. Then I'm going to take a second sheet of plastic and do the same thing on the other side. I take another one by four. Now, 
here's the tricky part. This is what makes it so cool. I have four 10 foot long pieces of strips of plastic. They're 10 feet long by about six inches wide, four to six inches wide. I take one brick and I wrap it a little bit more than once all the way around. And then I set that at the very front edge of the hoop tent here. And I'm going to put another brick on top of it to make sure that it holds. Then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay, now here's the really cool part. Because the strips of plastic are holding the tent down tight, I can open this tent in the day very simply to let humidity out and to let oxygen out and to let carbon dioxide in so that the plants get what they need. One other very cool thing that you can do with this, I'm not going to demonstrate it, you can take a string of Christmas lights, the large kind, the seven watt bulbs that are actually kind of put out heat, not the little teeny ones that stay cool, but the ones that actually put out some heat. You can take one or two strings or even three strings if you live where it's very cold, hook them underneath here down the inside. It will not only look really cool at night, it will put a lot of heat in there so that your plants stay warm at night. When I used to teach at Naropa University, we did this with four 17-foot-long uh, beds. We had three strings of Christmas lights in each bed. A couple times it snowed. Um, <clears throat> we brushed the snow off, and then we had students every night who would close up the tents, and we put concrete warming blankets over them, tied the whole thing down with ropes, and we kept our garden going right up until Christmas. When we had a couple of nights when it was 15 degrees below zero, and it did not get below freezing in the tents. So it works really well. And I hope you'll enjoy fall gardening on up to frost and past frost. And if you want to send me pictures to Vegetable Gardening with Lorraine, if you do this or you do anything similar, please send me your pictures. We'll share it with the world. Thanks. Have a happy fall garden.